Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with another Real Life Stock Review for Real Life Trading Australia. It's Tuesday, let's review what happened in the evening session in the US markets, shall we? Let's take a look at the SPY on the daily chart. We have formed a very, very small, cute little bearish, uh, cute little bearish candle here. Probably the smallest ranging day that I've seen on the SPY in quite some time actually. But if we take a look at the five minute, not a whole lot happened. We just created a few little lower highs and then a few more little higher lows and then we finally broke down lower at the end of the day. So not a whole lot happening on the SPY guys. It makes a lot of sense for us to pause here. Similar to what happened back here as well, um, or, or even back here, we kind of paused, traded sideways for a little bit longer, and then we popped. Um, both of these could potentially happen. I do think we could, I think we probably need a little bit more of a pullback, a nice little dip back into the 10, but of course, the market can just continue to go higher. Uh, you can see we are getting a little bit for, a little bit far away from the long-term moving averages, the 100 and the 200 simple moving average. But for the most part, guys, stay bullish on the markets. Let's take a look at the E-minis. Now, the E-minis not doing a whole lot in the afternoon session as we speak. Uh, but once again, last night in the evening session, you can see not a whole lot happened here. Pretty much exactly the same what happened in the SPY. Very, very choppy and very, very sideways. Let's take a look at some US stocks and here is Twitter. Now, if you are in Twitter, this is a buy low, sell high location. Um, however, I think you have a lot of time with this one. If you are in, uh, if you are in shares on this one, I think you could probably look to sell some lower puts if you wanted to, you know, increase your, like, increase some income. Um, for the most part, this is probably going to stay sideways for about six months, similar to what happened back here. Uh, and this did consolidate for probably about, yeah, about seven months, about seven months. So I do expect something like this to happen. I'll just kind of push this sideways here. And this is probably what I expect to happen on Twitter. So not a whole lot happening, probably going to be a little bit less rangy. Um, probably something like that. And I think that if you are very bullish on Twitter, then now is probably a time to look at buying or at least accumulating some sort of position on Twitter. Me personally, not very bullish on Twitter. Uh, I personally use Facebook the majority of the time. Let's take a look at Apple and not a whole lot happening with Apple. Just another day creating another all time high. We have got this cute little retest cap, uh, retest gap. Uh, from yesterday and we have not filled that gap but I do expect us to come back down and definitely fill that gap so Apple looking bullish on the shorter term moving averages I think a pullback a pullback back to the 50 EMA that would be a very nice buying location as you can see we have bounced off this level in the past and I think that if you are looking for a long-term position then definitely look to buy the dip on this one. Let's take a look at Yum China. Now, speaking of high levels, we are at another high level here. And as you can see, we have been at a resistance level on this one before. Now, today we actually did create a bearish inside day candle, which is very, very interesting and a very beautiful candle. Very, very nice candlestick pattern. We do have increasing volume. Uh, so with this one guys, if you are looking to play this thing bullish as a breakout, you could very well take an entry above here and below, uh, above and below this uh, high wave candle. Um, but me personally, I do not like to buy at the top as do most of real life traders and all you smart people out there would probably look to short this thing or AKA buy put options just for a short term play. Uh, this is obviously a selling location. It did ha it did have a beautiful double bottom retest and went higher. So if you did get to catch that particular run, then well done to you. But right now, I think if you are in Yum China, look to sell and take your profits. Let's take a look at Snapchat. Now Snapchat on the long term, 
not a whole lot happening. We are in a very nice little distribution phase and we are just going sideways and we are squeezing between the 100 and the 200 simple on the daily. Uh, on the weekly chart, if you were to look for a, a long-term dip buying opportunity, then uh, 12.25, which is the 100 on the weekly chart, that would be a very nice buying location. Uh, on the daily though, guys, if you are looking at this, I would just be looking to buy low, sell high. If you are, if you are looking to sell some premium, then probably look to sell some premium above $16. If you are looking to buy the stock, probably look to buy it somewhere around $13 and that would be very, very nice. But Snapchat, not doing a whole lot, just going very, very sideways. If you are a fan of iron condors, this also could be a nice little iron condor play where you leg in and leg into the the bull put and then leg into the bear call on the upside as well. So Keep that in mind, guys. Snapchat, not doing a whole lot. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets. We are breaking out of this pennant again. Um, eventually, we will go higher. I just think we're probably going to trade sideways here for a little bit a little bit longer, consolidate. I don't think we're just going to scream on up to you know 8,000, but I think that we will uh, definitely go higher on this one. So, all lords breaking out of this pennant once again, which is great to see, but is this the, is this the time to start going long guys look to buy the dip absolutely let's take a look at ANZ now ANZ is very very interesting because we on the on the weekly chart you can see very clearly we are at a very low level now we have got some nice long lower shadows here and we are forming somewhat of a morning star reversal pattern on a weekly chart now this is a very bullish pattern guys and if you take a look at the daily, we do have a nice little double bottom and we currently are retesting. So if you are a fan of double bottom retests and you are a fan of buying low at support levels, then ANZ is probably up your alley and definitely keep that one on your watch list to take long. Let's take a look at another bank, CBA. Now, if you did get into some, if you did sell some call options, sorry, uh, up above 83, I think you should be right. We have got decreasing volume here, and I do expect us probably to just trade sideways and probably have another little dip, a little bit of a dippage. Uh, but CBA, very nice bounce off the 200 on the daily chart and is just going to consolidate here for a little bit longer, guys. Let's take a look at Telstra, TLS, forming an amazing retest of this humongo jungo double bottom. Here's the retest. We are retesting the 100 on the daily. Looks to uh, looks good to go long here, guys. Keep it on your watch list. Just bear in mind that we do have the weekly 200 uh, at 398. So we will probably find some resistance up there, as as well as it is a resistance level from this previous high. So keep that in mind, guys. $4 or 398 is going to be a resistance. So it is going to be a very short-term play. Let's take a look at Wise Tech Global. Now, this is another one I want you guys to keep a look uh, keep a look out for because we have got some increasing volume here coming in, guys, and we've got a very very bullish candle right as we speak. Now, I did mention this one in the past. Somewhere between 23 and 21 is going to be a very nice buy the dip location for a long term play. Here's why: on the weekly chart, we do have a long term support. Uh, sorry, long-term resistance level at this price here, and we've got the 100 simple moving average uh, coming into play. So right now, as we speak, we've got this beautiful, beautiful high wave doji looking candle, and this could very well turn into something like that. A very nice morning star reversal pattern. So if you are looking to play, probably let this week play out and see how we end up, and then uh, take take a look at YSEC Global next week. Let's take a look at some commodities. So crude oil getting some bullish action. Now on the weekly chart, we are at the 100 on the weekly chart. So this is going to be a resistance level, guys. I have said this, I have said this in the past. And on the daily, we just have had an absolute huge last few weeks on crude oil. So I do expect us to... Uh, to sell at this particular level as it is a very nice 
support level here, resistance level here, resistance level here. Could this be the time where we sell off? I would probably think so. Uh, but make sure you uh, make sure you trade what you see, guys. Look for the perfect setup, and do not trade what you feel. Uh, let's have a look at gold. Now, gold is not doing a whole lot either, guys. We are just trading in a range. We are going sideways. I have said this is going to take some time to go lower. I do still think it will go lower. Not a whole lot lower, probably back down to around $1,400 per ounce, but look to sell high, buy low on this one as well. And last but not least, look at the Aussie dollar. Rejecting the 200, oh my gosh, on the on the daily chart. I mean, I actually thought we were going to start to get a little bit more bullish here, but after seeing this huge red candle, looks like we're just going to keep consolidating here, guys. Um, I do not have any position on the Aussie dollar at, as, as we speak, but I would say just look to buy low and sell high. This was a very nice buying location if you did get to catch that dip, as well as here on off the 100. Um, but right now, I think that most likely we will just chop around and go sideways. Anyways, guys, that's all i got for you today. I'll be back on Thursday with another Real Life Stock Review. If you want me to review any tickers in your portfolio, or if you just want me to take a look at some stocks just for you, Leave it in the comment section below and I will check them out for you on Thursday. I'll be back in a couple of days, guys. And remember, love life, live life and trade it. You rock. Bye.